So, next story of the day is going to be an update to a story that we've covered before, of course, but let's give you guys the latest concerning the Telegram initial token offering, which has found itself embroiled in an SEC securities case over the uh, how they chose to do their funding. Now, the last time that we ended up talking about Telegram, uh, we touched on the January document dump from the SEC against Telegram and their founder. Uh, so let's pull that up here. Here's the injunction. Here's the official court report right here. Uh, this allegation is that their token sale was merely a substitute for an actual financing round. So they weren't actually offering anything of validity and it was a security. And it quickly became evident from the SEC's investigation that the launch of Telegram's blockchain project, uh, to investors anyways, uh, it became pretty evident to investors that the SEC was absolutely certainly looking to shut down their project. The regulators were looking to shut them down. And so Telegram offered two options for investors into the Telegram initial Telegram offering. Uh, <laughs> A, they could either request a refund for 77% of their original investment amount, or they could wait a further six months for the platform to launch and token distribution to take place. So listen, guys, you can either lock in a 25%, 20, you get it, but let's lock in a quarter, you know, 25% loss. Let's just round. Let's lock in a 25% loss on your investment right now, or we can give you these, these tokens. Just wait six months. So now a majority of investors did decide to stick it out, but it now seems that they are changing their minds and jumping ship, looking to get their refunds after all, all right? So they have switched their sentiment. So uh, at least 10 large TON investors are ready to exit the project by returning the money. Now, the court uh, ruled this week that the Graham token distribution would constitute an illegal security offering and moved in with an injunction to block the token distribution from moving ahead, citing in the ruling the realities of the Howey test. In the context of the Telegram scheme, resale of the Gram tokens by participants into any secondary public markets would be an integral part of a security sale. Because what are the investors going to do as soon as they get their hands on the Gram token? They're going to dump it on the open market. A, security. Now, Considering these economic realities brought to light by looking at things like the Howey test, the court found that in the context of that scheme, they, they can't do that. So they blocked them. They blocked, they blocked the token distribution. Uh, now, we just covered over on this page, Yakov Berinsky. Uh, he is also known as Hash CIB, wrote in this Russian publication that Telegram investors have had enough. At least 10 large investors in the Telegram open network known as the TON program are now looking for that refund after, after all, after news of this injunction uh, hit and became uh, well known. Again, what we were just talking about earlier, what happens uh, when you typically see large movements in the market is that which was previously not known becomes known to a large amount of people, right? Investors are now faced with the prospect of a much longer wait than a mere six months while they wait for the Telegram group to sort this out, uh, to see the network launch and the tokens to see distribution if they ever see the light of day at all, that is, of course. Because again, as of right now, they're not allowed to launch their token distribution at all. And to top it off, of course, we have the current economic troubles rocking the current markets, meaning investors are desperately seeking a safe place for their investment funds right now and locking them up in the Telegram blockchain project with a very uncertain future is suddenly less appealing than ever before. I don't know about you guys. Not where I would want my money. Uh, Berinsky continues that overall, looking at the economic climate, that 77% refund looked a lot more appealing now than it did back in October. Now, listen, in all fairness to the Telegram project, all is not yet lost for their aspiring blockchain project. A preliminary injunction is just that, preliminary. And a final order from the court is not yet on the table. And Telegram certainly has the right and probably will appeal. But the outcome doesn't look positive. This whole ordeal could carry on for months to come, if not years, and investors are already getting itchy to pull out of the project. Not to mention in January's document dump, which I think we can get, uh, the CEO of Telegram, Pavel Durov, uh, caught with his hands in the proverbial ICO cookie jar with the SEC's investigation revealing plenty of incriminating evidence of Pavel turning to this form of fundraising despite being advised not to do it. So, not looking at it.